Hello all, uh, back at you again with more uh, Arch Linux uh, VirtualBox torture. And uh, a viewer was asking me if I could do a video on OpenBox. So I've set up the basic system and I've logged in as a regular user. And uh, so all that's left to do is install uh, OpenBox from the official repos in Arch Linux. So simple enough uh, sudo pacman s and then just open box and we use the first one uh, mesa dash libgl and then enter it's not very big 16 megabytes or so now with that installed uh, we have to pull down a couple of things um, python 2 xtg so sudo pacman all right that's finished we're going to have to make a, a new directory in our home folder. Uh, so it's a mkdir. I should zoom in, I guess. Uh, dash p and then a tilde slash dot c on a f i g slash open box. Now we have to copy uh, some stuff from that uh, xtg open box directory. Actually, let me list that out, make sure it's there. Okay. We have to copy those uh, four files. So, cp, slash p, dash p, uh, another slash, and a bracket, and those uh, files, auto start. And separated by comma, environment, finally, rc, dot, xm, xml in that bracket and then we're going to do that tilde dot c o n f i g uh, slash open box okay you can see the config directory we don't have our xml i mean x in it rc so it's cp um slash etc slash s k e l skeleton directory and then dot dot x in it rc and then just x in it rc ls dash la there it is there nano we'll nano that and we'll go down to the bottom type exec space open box dash session okay um <clears throat> when you start open box there's really not much there uh, so what I would suggest is uh, download stuff like a uh, terminal like gnome terminal and uh, web browser just to get you started so uh, we'll pull down the Firefox flash plug plugin gnome dash terminal for now and I'll let that download might take a couple of minutes. All right. Uh, I think a couple of other things too. Uh, it's just to be on the safe side. Uh, sudo Pacman. Let's get a editor, uh, text editor, Leafpad. That's fine. Uh, we'll get a file manager, Thunar, and some of its uh, other things like Gammon and uh, GVSF and Tumblr. Oh, and get the gnome icon theme dash icon n dash t h e m e. Okay, and just take a couple of minutes as well. So that's uh, uh, a lot of stuff downloaded. Um, let's see if we can start this session. So just type in start x and press enter. There it is. This is open box, and you right click. Right now, well, we have our terminal, uh, file manager, Thunar. Nothing in here. Press Control H. There's your hidden files. And if you go to the config directory, you can see there's open box and auto start internet Firefox and our GNOME terminal. I think you should edit profile colors. There we go. All right, let's get some kind of uh, doc 
bar. Uh, I think uh, Tint 2 is uh, fairly lightweight, so it's pseudo Pac-Man dash S Tint 2. Uh, PYG, yeah, I better get that for the configuration if you want to use it. All right, it should be just a matter of typing in Tint. What's with me? And then the and. There it is. So, you know, something we can sort of minimize and maximize with. To make that run at startup, we'll open our uh, file manager, <coughs> control H to unhide, open box, auto start, and just what we had, tint 2, and then the word, I mean the and symbol, save and quit. Now let's open the terminal again, and uh, we can do a sudo reboot, and see if that loads at startup. So after a reboot, we can see that our little bar has started. Um, <clears throat> if you want to get like a login manager, and especially if you're just a single user, uh, we'll go to the terminals again. We'll get slim. That's uh, pretty straightforward to work with. So uh, slim. Once that installed, if you want to make it automatic login. You can do like a, we have leafpad installed, so leafpad etc slash slim dot clnf. Oop, make that pseudo leafpad. And go to auto login. Take out the number sign and type the word yes. And default user, whatever you choose for username. Replace that. And uh, I know this should work. It probably works out of the box, but uh, we'll put this anyway in under sessions here. Throw in open box dash session comma. If you want to, wait, one more thing. Uh, go to the top for this here. If you want to try to shut down from, if you're not automatically log in, halt. And this would be just to reboot. Save exit make sure it's running at startup so sudo system ctl enable slim after that it should run at startup and automatically log in so i'm going to try that actually so sudo reboot okay it's booting up take a second there we go auto logged in now we want to get some uh compositing i guess and I found this excellent uh, tutorial on uh, the Arch Linux forum on how to get that running. Uh, first of all, we have to download some uh, files, and that's through uh, Yowart. Hopefully, you installed that. So, terminals. We'll get to this menu later. It's fine the way it is right now. Uh, Yowart uh, number two. Okay, now that's installed. And. Just uh, delete this one out. I think this is in the community, actually, but we'll see. Yeah, it is. So, 1, Y for yes, and it's installed because that's through sort of community. All right, now there's uh, some configuration we have to do. We have to do uh, super user and uh, change directory to slash usr slash bin I'll just copy this in control c and paste enter and then we have to nano or leafpad this so copy that okay so obviously it's blank and the uh, script is uh, here I'll have to post this uh, it starts right here Press Control C on your keyboard. Go back to the uh, open box and right click and paste. Just to make things easier, we have to uh, we'll just ch mod that to writable and paste and exit our super user. Now we'll get to the menu in a second, but uh, we want to auto start that at, at startup. So. You can copy this and see if it'll just work right off. Yes, it is. Look at that. Now we have some comp compositing. 
see these fading effects and the menus fade. So we'll add that to our auto start again. Now, the edit the uh, menu.xml. We'll open this with leaf pad. Add this in anywhere, this, uh, this menu exec command. You can put it in your accessories menu or something. So copy, paste that in, move it over a few lines, save, quit. And I think there's a auto updater, reconfigure open box. Accessories, there it is, compositing. And you can change the transparency levels 10 to 90% or just disable it if you need to. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, so we're getting there. We have compositing, we have a workable uh, dock bar, and uh, one of the requests was to add in Conkey, which is very, very easy in uh, Arch Linux, actually. Uh, it was Conkey Color, so it's a Yao Art Conkey dash colors. You have a choice here between two I think I last time two seemed to work oops two seemed to work fine and this uh, downloads all the things you need all right after that's installed uh, what I suggest uh, if you're not familiar with it <coughs> it's just to do conky dash colors whoop, and out to your home whoop, wrong way and out to your phone folder to anything like conky colors dash help and it gives you you know what you for basic settings to advanced settings and what you need and uh, let's get uh, some background capability uh, F E H Ooh. dash s throw that down and uh, it's up to you to what wallpaper you want to use so you have to this doesn't include wallpaper, so you have to go on the internet and find one. So I'll, I'll set one up and then run the, the conky colors and see what we have. All right, so here's a wallpaper. Um, it should uh, scale to whatever you have. You can go full screen. And so I have that running in a terminal, so I'm not going to close that right now. But we have to add something to auto start. So it's sh tilde slash F E H B G and and so copy enter and paste we'll save so what that does it'll preserve that wallpaper when you reboot uh, there's a lot of other things you can look up on the Arch Linux wiki about using this uh, program so I'll open another terminal and uh, we'll do the conky colors now dash colors and uh, basic uh, CPU I gave this one uh, six cores so conky colors conky dash colors and then two dashes CPU equals six and then two dashes arch I think and enter and then you can do like conky dash C uh, make that a little shorter uh, Conkey RC, sorry. And composite's not working. Ah, there we go. Now we enable comp com compositing, and we can see we have a Arch Linux logo, the time, and the CPU, and the memory usage. And huh, used 166 megabytes. Nice. And I gave it four gigs of RAM. Okay, I think that's about it. Uh, just to get your open box started, just uh, Control C and uh, pack sudo pacman dash s uh, o b c o n f. I think there we go. Just to add something, uh, right click system, and this will bring up uh, basic uh, teams. Uh, this one's kind of neat sometimes. There we go. Fire up our conky. 
you can put that uh, in a startup as well. Okay, so semi finished product, I guess. Uh, you can do a lot more with this bar, uh, the tint too. Obviously, you can do a lot more with everything on this. But we have, you know, a working desktop standalone uh, open box environment running Arch Linux. And just for laughs, system D dash analyze. How long does it take to boot? Oh, yeah, six seconds. <laughs> that's pretty good. So that's it. Uh, I hope that uh, helps uh, the person out or anybody else on configuring open box. Any questions, comments, uh, feel free to add them. I'm not sure how much help it will be on open box, but I'll try to uh, mess around with this and see what I can, what else I can get. Okay, so thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.